Hi guys, my name is Hilary and I'm going to give you a brief little history lesson on Diego Rivera, the world-renowned artist and muralist. By birth, Diego Rivera's name is Jose Diego Maria Rivera. He was born in Guanajuato, Mexico on either December 8th or the 13th in 1886. He did not start school officially until he was 8 years old. His talents were noticed by his teachers who saw his true potential. Against his father's wishes, Diego Rivera enrolled part-time at the San Carlos Academy in Mexico City in 1896. This is where he began his art studies. Soon after his enrollment, his mother saw his passion for the art and pushed for his full-time enrollment at the academy. In 1905, he completed his studies at the academy, and this is when he began his apprenticeship in Europe in 1907. So on the future slides, we're going to go ahead and look at the transformation of Diego Rivera's art from the beginning of his apprenticeship in Europe in 1907 to what it has become now. With the start of his apprenticeship, Diego arrived in Spain in 1907. He spent around roughly 14 years traveling throughout Europe. You will see the various influences of El Greco, Spanish Renaissance art, Cubanism, Italian Renaissance art, and fresco art. Throughout these 14 years, his paintings evolved due to the influences that he experienced at that time. In this first painting, the head of a Britain woman, painted in 1910, done with a medium of oil on canvas, uh, you can see the strong reminiscence of the 17th century Flemish portrait painting. During 1910, Diego Rivera was studying in Belgium at that time that this picture was created. Some of the facial features of the Belgian woman can be seen in this portrait. Uh, the headdress that the woman is wearing is something that would have been worn during the time frame of 1910 in Belgium. Here in this painting, the view of Salado painted in 1912, the medium used by Diego Rivera was oil on canvas. Here you can see the beauty and nature of the city that Diego Rivera may have been experiencing when he was traveling from city to city throughout his 14 years apprenticeship in Europe. In this painting, The Sailor at Breakfast, uh, painted in 1914, the medium used here was oil on canvas. During the time frame of 1914, Rivera met Juan Gris in Paris. This was the beginning when you started to see the Cubanism influences in Diego Rivera's art. You'll see this in the next couple of pictures. In what the Cubanism influences in this artwork is the grid-like pattern, which is commonly found in Gris's work. Here in Zabata's landscape, painted in 1915, the medium used here was oil on canvas. Along with the Cubanism influences um, made by Gris and the grid-like kind of pattern in this painting, you can see the influences of the Mexican Revolution. This was something that he made feel close to home since he was from Mexico. Here you can see the Mexican blanket over on the left side of the painting along with the rifle. There you can see the revolution part and the rifle and the Mexican part. And Here in this uh, painting, the motherhood, Angelina and the child, painted in 1916. The medium used was oil on canvas. This portrait was of his first wife, Angelina, with their first child, who sadly died when he was only months old. Here you can see the sadness in the way that the head is drooped down towards the child. You can feel with the, with the colors the sadness of maybe somebody that has lost someone um, that they dearly love. Um, here you can still see some of the Cubanism influences as, long, as well as the influences of his own emotions. Diego Rivera's apprenticeship ended about the 14 years. Um, this was one of his very first murals that Diego Rivera uh, created. It took him about a year to make. It took from 1922 to 1923. This mural was titled The Creation. Here this is done with some experimental fresco um, and enthusiastic with gold leaf. Here Diego Rivera was just starting to experiment with fresco paints as many of his murals were painted with later on. Um, in life, uh, Diego Rivera was famous for some of his murals as they taught both native and tourists about history of the area around him. Here you can see the history of maybe the creation of what he believed the beginning of time would look like. It was stated by Guadalupe Rivera, Diego Rivera's daughter, that some of Diego Rivera's most passionate work 
involved either his children or some of his children's friends um, or one of his past wives. Here in this portrait of Lupe Moran painted in 1938 using the medium of oil on canvas, it, in this painting you can see the strong expressions and emotions that are displayed in her face where she's making maybe a long face or a tired face where she's a mother who's caring for her husband and family and children and the children of the block that may be coming around and also you can note you may notice the very large exaggerated hands that may not normally be seen on a woman um, here you can see that maybe he's trying to display that there's this woman who is feminine but yet he is strong enough to hold the family together like a man in this picture you can see a small piece of a very popular mural that was in a hotel but was then removed after an earthquake in 1985. It is now on display at the Diego Rivera Museum of Murals in Mexico City. This was created in 1947 to 1948. The title of this mural was The Dream of a Sunny Afternoon in Almade Park. Here, one fact about this mural is that the boy standing next to the skeleton woman is supposed to be Diego Rivera and his mother as he would normally hide frogs in one of his pockets and scare his mother later on in the day. Here is one of my most famous paintings painted by Diego Rivera. It is titled The Woman Selling Flowers, done in 1949. The medium used for this painting was oil on canvas. Here is something that you may know Diego Rivera for, which is his calla lilies. Here in this painting, you can see that the calla lilies are blown out of proportion, and this brings an emphasis to the beauty of nature, which is basically being told for a living. Once someone looks past these large flowers, you may notice that there are children working and carrying the flowers. And if you see this exhaustion painted on the little girl's face in the left um, side of the picture, um, you also see the that the little boy in the bottom left-hand corner does not have any facial features whatsoever, any kind of facial expression. But even though that there is no actual facial features or any kind of expression, you can still see the exhaustion in the little boy's posture and as he's kneeling on the ground dragging the flowers trying to make make it day by day in the majority of Rivera's artwork he displays this hard work ethic in people who may be overlooked and just be seen as poor and someone just making it day by day he takes these common people and puts an emphasis on the hard work that they do and gives credit to those who may never ever see it as I mentioned earlier in the video that he helps people from wherever these murals may be painted or wherever these portraits may have been created and also tourists to learn what the history is of the Mexican culture and of the Mexican people and Diego Rivera is very well at helping to educate the people around them about the Mexican culture.